Hey guys, this is Ron Moore, and this is Let's Check Out Daydreaming Davy for the NES. Made by Hal, or Hi. Um, yeah, and... Awesome! Well, I don't know if this game is awesome, but we're about to find out. I have seen AVGN's review of this game, so I thought I'd go ahead and check it out myself. Alright, another fun-filled day at school. And of course, that sarcasm looks miserable. J-Man comes out of nowhere. Hey, what you got there, squirt? And then Jeff. Hey, let go, you big bully. Wait, well, he's smiling right there. Hey, let go, big bully. What the heck? You're supposed to be smiling at that moment. Thanks for the pencil, old chump. Hey. Hey, you know what? Come back here with that. So Jeff goes after J-Man. I'll find you lumpy. You can't hide from me. What the heck has he got in his hand? So Jeff falls asleep and he's dreaming. I don't know about daydreaming. Daydreaming is when you're still awake and you're just thinking, dreaming, off, drifting off mentally. And dreaming is when you're asleep and you're dreaming. Anyway, so I... Uh, this right here, I would have not known to do that right there. Jump over that rock had not, not seen AVGN's review of this game. Because you got to hit both the A and B buttons on the NES controller to jump over that rock, which is stupid. Anyway, what the heck? Am I attacking villagers? <laughs> Skip Rogers would not be happy to see that. I like the track in this stage, though. It's pretty cool. So I think I'm in old time England or something, or medieval times. Man, it looks like I'm attacking... What the heck is going on here? Hit detection is like... I guess it's alright. What the heck? Okay, you gotta yeah, got jump and hit these vultures, whatever they are. Huh. This game... this The way this game looks right now, kind of reminds me a bit of... Magic of Scheherazade... Uh, uh, Magic, Magic of Schwarzenegger... And... Willow. For the NES. Alright, and... Oh, cool, alright. Freezing, every, freezing everything for three seconds. This lance will protect thee, but thou must soon find a sword to wield. Okay? Just like in Castlevania, like... You know, all these items you get that freeze time, the best freeze item freeze power that I've ever seen in a video game is probably from Flash Man and Mega Man 2 and Bright Man's uh, Time Stop or whatever it's called and Mega Man 4. There's some little old women coming after me with canes or something. Look at what the heck I'm getting pwned by old women. Reminds me of that old woman that tried to hit Hulk Hogan in the head with a cane one time in the front row. <laughs> Right, so as these old woman villagers come after me, I'm trying to find a sword, and I think it's over here. And there it is. The Master Sword! Okay, not really. More like Beginner Sword. Alright, so now I got this. Wait. Do I have the sword? Oh, yeah, I gotta equip it. What the heck? <laughs> that's the only sword attack? It just does the Link spin attack, and that's it? Huh. What, I can't hit that villager? Okay, I guess it's the energy potion. Yeah, I better use that. ECW. So where's my helmet? My night helmet or whatever. Probably should get that. Alright, so how to get out of here? I feel like I'm in a maze now. I feel like I'm playing Zombies Ate My Neighbors. A 
small bag of dust will make thee stronger. What the heck did I just get? And what is this? Is that the small bag of dust? Okay, my armor is purple now. I don't know what the heck is going on in this game. Um. Kill the freaking vulture, come on. What's this? Alfred Hitchcock? Is he around or something? Birds coming after me? Clasp thy weapons tightly, for thieves lurk amongst the trees. Oh, those old women coming after me a lot? Oh, cool. I got spear. Oh, oh wait. Well, idiot! <laughs> I forgot I only had three of them. I just wasted all of them. Figure out a way to get the heck out of this level. Whoa, what the heck? Why the screen turn red for? I am Lumper, a dark knight. Prepare to die, Sir Davy. Lumper, I guess in reference to Lumpy the bully. Alright, he's the boss of the stage and well, that was definitely not a golden axe night, because that night was too easy. So Jeff gets his pencil back from J-Man. Hey, laugh now, sissy, but I'll be back. Peace. I'm out of here. Alright, so Jeff is out of here, and... So I guess that's the end of level one. Alright, he's back in school now, or he's awake. Back in school, and whoa! This is Doubtfire now, gets freaking ticked off at Jeff for some reason. Yeah, draw like AVGN said, draw like it's a chore. I mean, I can't draw, but if my teacher told me to do that, that'd just be a reason for me to just freaking slack off and daydream. All right, so now you know what? we're in a western stage here, so this this would actually look pretty cool if it was a uh, Sunset Riders for the NES or something. Oh, whoops. I can't go that way. Well, why did it make me think I could go that way? All that opening space up there. What the heck is that? Hey, this guy's asleep or something. What the heck? Oh, what? Oh, he hit me with something. What the heck? Oh, okay, now this guy's throwing rolling rocks at me. Can't go to the blacksmith. I just killed Roy from Toy Story. Can't go to see the gunsmith either. Where can I go? John Smith. What? Didn't that tumbleweed just explode? What the heck? Come on. I can't go inside anywhere. Eh, the music in this stage isn't bad either, but it just changes all of a sudden, just like that one stage in Not Me on Elm Street. Why don't you mosey on over to Western Union for messages? Alright, so... Let's go ahead and go to Western Union. Look at Dave how he's walking. What the heck is that stereotypical cowboy walk? Okay, let me see what I can trade in here. So I have twelve dollars. Oh, what the heck do I want? Root beer, snake skins, dried fingers. What? What the heck? Evil spirit powder. Am I playing Daydreaming Davy or Day? Uh, not Daydream. Uh, uninvited. Well, I don't know what to get. All these items are freaking me out. Uh, except gold. Hmm. 
trade four for gold. Trade root beer. Yeah, I want to trade my bark root beer for your mug root beer. I forget it. Let's get out of here. All I have is Indiana Jones whip. Let's go to the Western Union. Where the heck is that at? Why is my hat green all of a sudden? Whoa. Now those are some big vultures. Um. Here we go. Telegram. Deputy Davy hired gunslinger hiding in blacksmith shop. Bring him in dead or alive, Deputy. Okay, so let's go. Well, it won't let me go in the blacksmith shop. Well, it probably will now. It's like a Star Trek. You gotta talk to everybody or do certain things first before you can go anywhere. Move. Alright, here we go. Oh, this douche. Well, where's my cursor at? What? Where's my cursor at? Okay, I know by AVGN's review you're supposed to aim the cursor at the gun, but the cursor didn't even show up here. Well, what the heck was that about? Okay, well let me continue from here and try this again. I think you have to use the mouse. I am playing on the emulator. So let me go back there and try again. This time use the mouse. I don't think I have to start the whole process over again. Do I go to Western Union and then Blacksmith? I think I go straight to the Blacksmith store. No, get out of here. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Ah, fail. Well, what do I do here? Bummer. Well, this makes no daggum sense. Well... Well, I did go, I tried three different emulators that I have to configure to where I can use the mouse to shoot, but I couldn't figure out how to do it. And I know I've done it before, I did it in Hogan's Alley, if I remember correctly, I have to go back and watch that video, I think I did use the mouse to shoot targets, but I don't know, whatever I'm doing wrong, um, you guys let me know, because I thought you could use your mouse in the emulator, um, but I can't figure out how to do it, I guess I totally forgot, or what the heck's going on. I don't know what, what's going on, but if you guys know how to do it, let me know, and I'll try it again. Uh, maybe I'll do another part of Daydreaming Davy. but until then, I'm pretty much going to stop right here. I gave an, enough, uh, I, re, I, re, I recorded enough footage to do a first impression review of this game, and so far, it seems okay. Um, and, you know, it's about a kid that dreams, and then he goes on an adventure, it reminds me of The Adventures of Tom Sawyer. But you know what? So far, this game is five times better than Tom Sawyer. I'll tell you that right now. At least this game has freaking good music. Well, the music in Tom Sawyer wasn't that bad. It just wasn't... I guess it's just mediocre. This game seems, so far seems better than Tom Sawyer for the NES. And for those of you who want to know what that game is, uh, I did do a review of it. A Ron Moore review of it back, uh, I think, last year or 2012, somewhere around there. Um, but so far, I think this game is better. Um, so, yeah, so far, I mean, Daydreaming Davy, from what I gathered from it, from my experience in AVGN's review, I might so far give it a 6.5 out of 10. Doesn't seem like a bad game. AVGN never acknowledged the good soundtrack in the game. He seems to never do that. Hey, like now I'm on M Street, just made fun of it, talking about it sounds like Roger Rabbit, which I don't know, I don't remember what Roger Rabbit music sounds like, but the the two of the tracks I heard so far in this game sound pretty good. So I mean the controls and it could be better. Uh but you know what? So far this game ain't that bad, so I'm gonna end it right here and I am out of here. I'm Ron Moore, God bless, take care.